hello everybody so we are back on the channel and this is basically the last part or the last series of our social media application that we're building and then basically in this last part we're going to complete it by joining the back end and the front end so if you know you've not been able to go through the back end video and also the front end video please go through them make sure that you built them there and and then they are looking exactly how we have them or the back end is functioning how we expect it to be then after you are done with both of them you can come to this video and then we can build our application together okay so the first thing that we are going to basically be doing today is we are going to work on use effect i'm going to explain how use effect functions you know how the basically what you need to understand about use effect for you to be able to use it to your advantage in the future right then after learning it we can now implement uh we can now use that concept in our to our own advantage right right basically uh so so that's what we are going to use to display the timeline post over here all right so first of all i am going to re remove this then here okay so over here as you can see we have been able to um, start running it and before we've been able to start the server too as well so let's so for me to be able to talk about use effects right i, I just want to let you understand that use effect is basically a hook that in our case for our application most of the time is used when you are trying to get data from the server or from our api right but you want to be able to get the data in such a way that it doesn't have to re-render or you don't have to waste memory you know or even cause memory leaks and all these little things that come with it you want to make sure that you are calling the data efficiently and then the only when you need them right so when you think about use effects one of the things that you need to keep in mind is there's something called a dependency right so you can use your, your use effect function with or without a dependency so the only thing that a dependency does is it only says that okay so anytime this dependency changes then we re-render our component let me give you a quick example of what i'm talking about so i'm quickly going to say use effect right i'm going to i'm quickly going to import use effect let me use the use effect snippet then i'll take this dependency out it has no dependency I, okay on on a small second i'll think i'll just use it i'll just call use effect like this okay then okay that was a mistake that was a mistake actually okay then i would oh where's my cursor uh okay then i would now bring in my brackets here then inside the bracket i would have another bracket also inside then over here i'm going to bring in the equal to and then inside we have our first function use effects function right now inside this use effect function we want to make sure that it has no dependencies right okay so now that we know this let me say console.log i have no dependencies right so uh let me quickly let me quickly do something here so over here i'm going to quickly add like an input i'm going to add an input element here right then i'm going to I'm going to take the value of this input element so let's say a const then i'll say something like value and set value when you say something like value and set value then inside here we have the use state here okay so for the use states that we have here we can make we can make it an empty string right we can quickly make it an empty string over here right now that we have that we have it as an empty string i can come here and then give an unchange so i'll say on change you can select this i want to i want to make sure that i'm taking e as a parameter let me check my mic yeah my mic works I'm taking e as a param the parameter and then i am setting the value to the target right so i'll say set value set, set value to the e dot target dot value all right 
so now that we have this we want to say that the value for this should be what value in general this value variable that we have right okay so what do i want to do i want to also log this uh i want to log the value while we are changing it right so when we come back here i'm going to click on inspect elements really quickly so so that we can so that i can explain okay it's, it looks like it's taking a little bit of some time but uh some a little bit of patience we should be able to open it okay let me go into the console okay click in it and check my mic make sure that it's working all right it's working okay i'm going to refresh it so that we can clear out the terminal okay so as you can see here it says that i have no dependencies right and i think our inputs should be around here because it still went to it sort of cleans out all the styling so you should see this is our input right so as you can see it says what well, i have no dependencies now because our use effect function inside the component basically has no dependencies here it, it, that's it, it, the only time it will render is the only time it renders when the page refreshes basically so if it renders five times it's going to stay rendered five times if it's rendered once it's going to stay rendered once do you get me yeah basically so there's nothing i'll do on this page that will cause this to re-render right like let's say right so the only thing that is rendering is the value that is here right now if i set the dependency for this use effect right if i set a dependency to be this value then if i change the value here this one or this functionality here or whether we perform an api call or whatever the data that is coming out of here would have to re-render again or, or would have to be, be be recalled again which obviously would be a big issue especially when you have to pay for api calls you're using a service like firebase <laughs> it will be a whole lot of headache you don't want to fall into such mistakes right so basically i'm going to open this and then i'm going to refresh so that we can get a clear console right so as you can see it has been rendered like that and basically we set its dependency to be the value inside our input component right so i'm going to go to the input component here i'm going to focus i'm going to click on it to focus it right now let me change something you'd realize that this i have no dependencies here will now be doubling so see you see so anytime we change it you realize that there are some changes that also go on right so basically that's the that's basically what use effects is right you you make sure that most of the time when you are calling your data from your api to display on your page you want to make sure that it has no dependencies unless the data is being called due to a certain property maybe a certain user id or something or maybe a certain particular value that you have is changing all the time right that's when you can add a dependency but if it's just normal data that you're trying to display on your page you want to make sure that there are no dependencies in here right so that it just displays when it displays or when the page loads right yeah so basically that's use effect and then in the next video i would make sure i go through or i uh, will move on to the next step which is displaying uh, uh data displaying the timeline post onto the home page thank you very much for staying to the end of the video really appreciate you hopefully i'll see you in the next one and we'll learn something